Welcome back to People Be Like Taste Test, special edition. Today, we have a competition with our two competitors, John Ross and Matt Lieberman. You guys don't know what you're gonna be cooking, do you? I'm prepared for anything. Oh, really? I'm always prepared. I have asked you guys to bring your own ingredient. That's correct. John has. I brought rice straight from home. I brought a chicharron with meat on it. This is pig skin with meat. It's super fatty and crispy and delicious. Yes. Wow, okay. I would really love the opportunity to heat this up. I should have taken that opportunity earlier. So, are you guys ready to know what the competition is? Yes. Today, you will be making three different meals for our three different judges. The overall theme is school snacks. Are you ready for your ingredients? Yes. yes. Bring them in. Oh, Ooh, this is beautiful. Good writing good stuff Love right here. this presentation. When I give you the counter, you may reveal. Three, two. On three? On, <laughs> on one or? Oh or, or yeah, on one or zero. Or on go. On one. Okay. okay. So you may reveal in three, two, one. Your ingredients are Nutella, chocolate chips, celery, banana, pretzels, and Rice Krispies. You have five minutes to make an opening meal. Well, this isn't gonna work right now. You each have five minutes to make an appetizer. <laughs> Off the bat, John, any ideas? Oh uh, yeah, I'm using a banana. What do you think you're gonna do with that? Probably cut it. Bam, I just did it. <laughs> Matt Lieberman, you have three celery slices going down and you're already going in with the Nutella. You don't seem worried, what's going on? Pork goes really well with bananas or plantains. It can go really well with chocolate. I'm looking for something that's salty and fatty and sweet. It's gonna be delicious. Okay. John, any updates? Yeah, uh, I'm still cutting the bananas. Any idea what you got going on yet? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put uh, these ingredients onto this banana. We'll see what happens. So John, you seem to have come to a better idea. You have some things going on. Are you yeah, worried? I'm always worried. I'm a, I'm a cautious type, you know. Leave him, leave him. Got a lot going on over here. This is what some people would say is an unorthodox meal. Yeah. All right. Why don't you run over there and have them tell you another question to ask us? <laughs> I actually made them all up. You have two minutes. <laughs> fucking shit, what? Oh, I got it. Pig was, grease all over my fucking hands. That was a pretty aggressive move you just did to those pretzels just now, Lieberman. Any idea why you're so angry? Because I just found out that I only have very little time to make this masterpiece work. Don, don't seem too worried over here. Are you close to being finished? I am finished. Ooh. I need a plate. We have one minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. Your competition is finished. This doesn't mean you have to be finished. You're still going. Any idea on when you're gonna be finished? I mean, when the time limit's up. Interesting. Oh. I, I take every last second, Will. Time is precious. Yes, it is. John has entered the plating stage. You have one minute left. Do I get plates, 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 plates? Someone get this man some plates. Someone get this man some plates. Are you ready for the plating phase? Yes. Now remember, plating is a big part of this competition. I know one of our judges has lost his mind when someone didn't plate something correctly, according to the rules. 30 Six. seconds. Leave him in, you only have one thing plated. You have 20 seconds left. What are you going to do? I'm going to finish plating. Stop talking to me. Five, four, Three, two, one. Hands up, hands up. I didn't do it. So you're both finished. How are you feeling about your decision so far, Lieberman? Uh, I think I made a strong, a strong appetizer. Plating could always be a little nicer. Didn't realize the time limit, but considering what I had to work with, I think I did a bang up job. Messy hands, messy hands. That, that's how you know he did something. John, how are you feeling about your first? Oh man, I licked my hands. I'm, I already got stuff. <laughs> yeah, not about your hands. Oh, how you didn't feel about your hands? It's not sanitary. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna wash it after this. People I'm sorry have about to that. Eat your food. You're absolutely right. I'm not doing this for an FDA rating or anything like that. For, right off the bat, it's a lot less, but this is a little appetizer, a little, a little smidge. Oh. And round one is done. Round two, entrees. Are the contestants ready? Hell yeah. Yep. Uh, this time, this round will be harder than before, but you will get 10 minutes to do so. Here are your, what do you call this shit? Just bring out the no. baskets. Bring out the ingredients, baskets. Thank you, Lynn. You may reveal three, two, one. For this Ooh. entree, you have bread, turkey, roll, cheese, lettuce, Cheetos, a plain Pop-Tart, and Hot Pockets. What is plain Pop-Tart? What flavor is that? Plain? I think it might be strawberry in there. Strawberry? I don't know. It's plain. And you start now. So, opening thoughts. Opening. I see here you're starting with the Pop-Tart, Lieberman. Any idea why? Honestly, because most of this stuff's kind of boring, so I want to play with the interesting stuff. What kind of Hot Pockets is this, did they say? It smells like pizza. 
Pizza, pepperoni pizza? Don't know. All right, I'm gonna have to sample and figure this out. John, what are you liking over here? I see you got some bread laid down. I'm honestly kind of hungry. I might eat one of these. No idea what you're gonna do? Not yet. I wanna, I wanna do something interesting though. Okay. Something's gonna be with bread. <laughs> Fuck it! As you can see, tension is growing high with our contestants right now. Son of a I don't think either of them really knows what they're gonna do, what's going on. We're gonna have to find out in the process. What you got going on there, John? Something boring? Yeah, most likely, man. Mm -hmm. More fun than yours. Oh, well. You gonna make them a rice sandwich? Loki, okay, I think you're a good person, though. I think you're a good person, too. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. That's not catty enough for me. <laughs> so, John, you haven't used your secret ingredient yet. Why? Uh, it's just I'm, I'm waiting for the right time. Maybe it's for the dessert. Who knows? What's this thing you got going on right now? I'm deconstructing this Hot Pocket right here. Interesting. You're using the inner to the Hot Pocket as a secretion. Yes, because I don't like the bread that Hot Pocket provides. Now, okay. Lieberman, I see you have cut up some Cheetos. I think I'm going to make a sandwich, and then I'm also going to make a Cheeto, pork, and Pop-Tart little tartlet. I'm excited to see how this comes down at the plate. Well, I'd like to know, is there a way you could run around more? Thank you. That's yeah, really helpful. That's, yeah. So he makes you do this a lot. Oh, yeah, man. How long has he been riding on your coattails? 2012. Ooh, yuck. John, 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 I see you have stained your shirt. What? Yeah, you, you got Damn stuck it. on the apron? Yeah, I guess so. Do you feel like this is a part of the meal? No, this is my apron. It's foul, no. Interesting, Lieberman, Lieberman, you said this food here was foul, this turkey bread. It's disgusting, so I'm not gonna use it in my food. I think it's a mistake. It smells pretty fresh to me. I would like you to try it. Try it right now and tell me it's not gross. Exactly, walk away. You now have three plates. You're gonna enter the plating process. Are you confident in your decisions? I'm very confident. I, I honestly believe that I made the right decision and what I wanted to make for this meal, that whatever John's gonna come up with just honestly won't be able to match it. Now, John, I see you decided to go with the rolls. Yep. Is that a, a side dish to your dish that you have going on? Yeah, I was like, I wanna make a salad, and I was like, oh, there's nothing to do that with, so I'm gonna do this instead. Okay, okay. I made a mistake. I licked one of my hands, so I can't use it no more. Now yeah, I'm I did the same thing. But the food's so good, you know. If we weren't making art here, it'd be a lot easier. Are you worried at all? Nah, cause I'm done. Lieberman is done. Lieberman is done. As am I. John is done. John is done. You guys are confident. Yeah. Exiting interviews. Let's ask some questions. What is it we have here? All right, so right here, we've got provolone hot pocket and Cheeto sandwich with pork cracklins. And then on the side here, we have a strawberry pork tart. I, I would consider it to be an amuse, amuse bouche. Amuse, amu, uh, you eat it first. John, what do you have here? Oh, 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 interesting. Yeah, these are my Chuck E. Cheese sliders. They also have uh, contained pizza ingredients, uh, the turkey that you have provided us, same with the cheese. And then on the side here, it's like a Cheetos garlic bread. I call them Chester's Surprise. Wow, I see you've garnished the plate. Yes, you, I, it doesn't make sense, but uh, it needs it. Interesting, okay, we're gonna pass these over to the judges and we're gonna head on into the next round. <laughs> so, before we go into this final round, how are you feeling, Libra? I feel supremely confident. I've never felt more confident about anything in the world ever. Going into this final round, how do you feel so far? I'm a little worried because my opponent has pointed out that I have not used my secret ingredient yet. You don't have to use your secret ingredient. I hope you know that. Bam! See, I thought it was in the official rules that you're supposed to incorporate your secret ingredient, personally. I don't know, uh, judges aren't here yet. <laughs> so. Sorry, I just see a circle of people around these cameras. I just assumed the judges were among them. For this final round, you guys will be making desserts. Bring in the greetings. Three, two, one. You have vanilla icing, sprinkles, cookies, caramel, popped corn, and graham crackers. You have five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. Any idea what you're gonna do, Lieberman? Um, you know, for the first time this competition, I'm a little stumped, because there's a lot of different ways to go down. I, I'm gonna keep going with my pork combo. John, how you feeling? I'm just gonna follow my nose wherever it goes. I'll be very surprised if you incorporate your pork rind. Don't be surprised, I'll find a way to incorporate <laughs> it into everything. So, seems already you're getting started on a little something, John. I like Oreos and I like Chips Ahoy's, so I'm like, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to bring them two together. Lieberman. I've got a nice vanilla frosting dollop. I'm gonna throw on a nice chunk of pork, and I may garnish with a little crushed popcorn. I'm still deciding. Actually, no, that's a perfect idea. 
Ideas are flourishing. We're in the final round. Tensions are high. Let's see what happens. Three minutes. So, John, we're getting to the end of the competition. You still mm -hmm. haven't touched on the rice. How are you feeling about that? No, it's good. I'm, I'm going to just save that for after this. Uh, I'm going to eat some porridge. Ah, Lieberman, your plate's looking a little bare. How you? What's the plan right now? Simplicity. Um, I've got a nice uh, caramel base that I'm putting my, uh, my cookie wafer down on. I think it's going to be a really nice, minimalistic plating. Uh, Japanese inspired, of course, of course. Oh, the Kentabayu cookie. That's racist. Anyway. Uh, okay, uh, no, if you gotta go, you gotta go, man. Oh, I see what you're doing there, that's pretty neat. One minute! Yeah, I really don't know what else to add. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I really wanna do anything else. I don't wanna give these kids a heart attack. I think that might be it. Now the final dessert round has been finished. Our cookers did the best that they could, and now it's time to bring in the judges! So today we're gathered here by our three judges. Steven? Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Sophia? Hi. And Kenny. Well, you guys ready know. for this first round? Yep. Yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, chefs. chefs. You guys Judges. think you did a good job? I think yeah. I did a fabulous job. All right, let's bring in these foods. Wow. Thank you. Are you going to ask us questions? Uh, we will after we take a bite. All right. Okay. So, yeah. My apologies. I'm going to start off small. Any thoughts on presentation so far? Okay. John's plate, hands down one. It's Beautiful. John's. You're yeah. feeling that, Sophia? Yeah, it's just a pretzel with Nutella on it, but yeah. So it is okay. like a little banana boat. I, I prefer mm -hmm. Matt's pr uh, presentation because I don't like things that aren't edible on my plate. Mm. At first, I thought John's was gonna be down below Matt's because of the taste. It didn't have that salty flavor I absolutely wanted. But now, upon eating it with the pretzel, hooey! Was that not ever one of the best things I've had in my life? I definitely was gonna give it to John. I really, really was. But after I like dug into the to Matt's and had like the salt with the Nutella, he had just the right amount. All right, I'm gonna agree with Suftik on the on John's plate. At first, separately, they were a little weird, but once combined together, it was definitely very on point. Hell yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> Interesting. With Matt's dish, uh, I found the combination of chocolate and celery be not very pleasing. So Saptic, who are you giving your point to? The point's easy. I'm gonna have to give it to draw John. One for John? Matt. So one for Matt? I'm gonna say John. John, John takes the first round. And now we're here with round two. Are the judges ready? Yes. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'll uh, both of these look fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's plate is definitely very pretty. Presentation-wise, cutting the rolls on a bias, very creative. Sophia, you've chosen not to eat something. What is it that you chose not to eat? Oh. Cicerone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any defense to you, uh, Lieberman? I didn't know that it was in the rules that they could just not eat it. <laughs> um, and I feel like I'm being uh, unfairly maligned for what is a truly delicious ingredient. I think Sophia would love it. How do we know it. we're not supposed right. to eat this? Because we, people have been eating like it for generations. It. It's cooked. It is cooked. Oh, okay. It's delicious. I, I think you we, are being judged. Uh, there are points yeah. involved. And you're losing it, so. <laughs> I well. think we have confirmed today that Pop-Tarts do not go with chicharron. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> I like how John tried to put the Cheeto in the Hot Pocket, but what it did is it made the Cheeto super soft. Ooh, soggy. interesting. Oh. Oddly enough, yeah. the yeah. Pop-Tart Chiron yeah. thing, I'm really digging it. The salty Honestly, sweet, very on point. Matt isn't bad. I yeah. don't want to like Matt, but I am. Matt as a person? I mean, I, like <laughs> I feel like this is a personal thing now. Yeah, Matt's is good. Matt yeah, is Matt's good. Is pretty good. <laughs> All right, time for John's. This is a Hawaiian sweet roll you used. Brilliant use of the Hot Pocket sauce. Thank you very That's much. That's really cool. Yes. I also really do like yours, Matt. Our sandwiches are essentially the same, except you you put the turkey in and I didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you chose to not use the turkey because you said it was rank. I said that the turkey foul. was disgusting. Mm -hmm. We can cut to a clip. It's foul. No. Who are you going to give your point to? Uh, definitely Matt in this one. Uh, presentation definitely goes to Matt. You guys are including uh, the fact that John garnished his plate with a with string a of lettuce. With a piece of lettuce. Yeah, one piece. I'm gonna give this to Matt. Um, I have soft gums, so John's was easier to eat and better tasting, too. Interesting. Who are you gonna give your point to? John. Interesting. I'm so sorry, Matt. Either Here's one. my gums. I have bad gums. This round so seems to go to Lieberman. Congratulations. Yeah. <sighs> so at this point, it's anybody's game. It's the last round. It comes down to dessert. It could go for Lieberman. It could go for John. We really don't know. Let's hit it. So we're here in our final round. Lieberman, John, this is your final round. Anything you'd like to say? John? Help. Lieberman, 
I'd like to remind the judges that John did not use his ingredient that he brought oh, with him this up now, in huh? any of his dishes. I have to be honest, that is true. I have wow. thought about that. Yeah. I brought yeah. that up earlier. Yeah. You said I it was, was optional. Wondering. There's no official penalty for not using your secret ingredient, Okay. but we will admit that John did not do that. Yeah. I've thought about that the entire time I've been doing this, is Matt actually chose to yeah. put his ingredient, his secret ingredient in. John Ross, no thanks. Interesting. And remember, whoever takes this round takes the whole thing. It's anybody's game. Dessert! This, is, this does seem actually like a little bit too much chicharron to get in. Well, right, why would you put a whole thing oh, on yeah. Interesting, it was Small hard place. for you to eat this stuff. Well, <laughs> silly me. I had strep throat for I'm a little while. My left it. tonsil got yeah. fucked. I can't open my mouth too hard. Interesting. You need to see a dentist. You're yeah, saying man, you really need to yeah. go to a doctor. I don't need help with anything. I okay. want to brush my teeth. Stop. You guys have fun. Again, I think Matt's presentation definitely wins on this one. Right. I really like the smear of the caramel on the bottom of the plate. Definitely adds a nice little bit of finesse. Back on presentation and, and characteristics during the cooking, did you see the, the move John did? Uh, oh yeah, the, he did I sprinkle heard. it. Now, may I remind you, that is not John's move. He did not invent that move. I would say for presentation, definitely John. It was so colorful. I really enjoyed Matt's. I liked having the little, the soft and the hard. Then I finally tasted John's and John's. Okay, so that was a point for you. John Ross, I think you did a fabulous job. It was a bit like an Oreo, kind of not very creative. Um, knocking off points for that. Also, you didn't use any rice. It was a little, You could have easily put rice in this cookie. I wouldn't have liked uh, it. <laughs> Popcorn was all right. You did as much as you could, I think. But all in all, not a very creative dish. And mm. that's okay. Yeah. Matt Lieberman, on the other hand, I didn't think I was going to... It was a little bit too much teacher, I'm going to be honest. The whole thing was a little bit too much teacher. Um, so who are you going to give your final point to? We'll figure it out right after this. Have the things that once brought you joy lost their substance in your heart? Does every day seem like a never-ending loop of the things you dislike the most? You're depressed. I know exactly what you need. So you should subscribe to William Haynes TV. Don't forget to hit that notification bell on the YouTube app. It'll be a good time. Good things are coming. <laughs> subscribe to William Haynes TV. Life is instantly better. So, Kenny, thoughts? For John's, the whole Oreo cookie icing thing, not very great. A little too sweet. Mm. Both were very, very sweet, in my opinion. Oh. But what stood out about Matt's was the chicharron, actually. The saltiness from the chicharron actually cut the sweetness down. So it was a little more bearable. I'm wondering who you're going to give your point to. Me too. So you don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. You're still thinking yeah. about it. Something. I might take my point back. I don't what? Think you can't do that. Don't take his back. No takes his back. No. No you can't take your point it's back. It's too late, Sophia. I do agree. Why? <laughs> because you already put your point down. It's like putting a yeah. deposit down. Something. You're going to have to give us yours. Here we go. I'm going to have to go with my final decision, Matthew Lieberman. Oh. Interesting. So we have one point for John, one point for Lieberman, and it's up to you, Kenny. All right. And I I'm sure you're going to give your honest opinion. There's no bias in this right. here. I'm going to have to give it. To Matt Lieberman. If Lieberman won, Lieberman, you are the winner. You are the esteemed yeah. winner. Thank you. You may greet the judges. You may greet the judges. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good I job, deeply Matt. appreciate Great. it. Good Thank job. you so much, Subtick. Anything you'd like to say to the people at home? Thank you. I just wanna I wanna give my compliments to John. You're a hell of a competitor. Um, and you made some incredible stuff. Um, that turkey was gross though. If we can throw that back up on the screen, don't buy this turkey. Thank you, you and uh, you should all try cheat your arms. They're delicious. <laughs> Thank you guys, everybody, for watching. Woo! No, oh. Matt, I mean, Jeez. Will, why would you do that? Had to. Don't know why. I just really wanted to. <laughs> really wanted to. Will, hey. people have to do that. I, I'll do it. Oh. There's over 200 roaches in this building. Oh. Realize. <laughs> <laughs>